things are about to get real. Welcome back to my bulking series. Um, today's video is just gonna be about what's on my mind. So get ready. First off, I have an office job and it's definitely not my passion. It's not like what gets me out of bed every day excited about life, but it's something that I'm good at. I kind of fell into that career, but I've always had a love for uh, sports and athleticism. When I was younger, dreamt about how I was gonna make that love for sports become my career. I don't know. Anyways, my big dreams were that I was going to be a pro soccer player. I played soccer for many years. Um, I had dreams of getting a scholarship in university, but that didn't end up panning out. Um, so yeah, I was a part-time student, part-time employee, and eventually became a full-time student and a full-time employee. And um, fitness was always there, but it wasn't at the forefront at that time. And honestly, I wasn't as happy at that time. There just was no real sense of purpose for that. Um, I graduated um, and started working full-time at the place I was already working and eventually thought that that was going to be it. Then something came into my life that was really unexpected and that was roller derby. Um, somebody just came into my work one day and said they wanted to book a facility because they wanted to start a roller derby league in my town. And I grew up in a, a smaller town and had never even heard of roller derby. Um, had never seen a game, didn't know anything about it, but I knew that it sounded pretty badass and I was about ready to do something badass in my life. I looked up how to order the gear ordered the gear, me and my best friend, we went to the first practice and from then I moved to a bigger city so I could compete at a higher level and just fell in love with the sport and at the time I thought that roller derby was what had been missing my whole life and it was something that you know inspired me and challenged me and motivated me and it gave me purpose and it became more important to me than you know my my administrative career you know that was just what I was doing to support this roller derby career <sighs> and then I got injured and I couldn't play anymore so I ended up retiring from roller derby in the meantime, I had been cross training and working out and, you know, falling in love with the, the athlete lifestyle of, you know, dry land training and weightlifting and becoming the most fit, strong, prepared athlete that I could be for the sport. So when I stopped playing, I realized I still really enjoyed that aspect of my life. I really enjoyed being at the gym. I really enjoyed how it felt. I really enjoyed the confidence that I got from working out um, and I really enjoyed the progress that, in, that it was something in my life that if I, I kept working at and I made these goals for myself there was always I was always moving forward just a little bit and you know that felt good and that felt like something I wanted to keep doing so now here I am and I'm doing this bulking journey which I've never done before um, trying to just improve what I already have and, and challenge myself in a new way and become stronger. Learn more about fitness and learn as much as I possibly can and like I just enjoy that journey. Um, I, I've just enjoyed my personal journey with fitness. I've also enjoyed you know working with other people and helping others um, better understand their bodies and defining their, their health and fitness goals and you know, motivating others and helping people realize there's so many different ways that you can have a healthy and fit lifestyle. It's not a one-size-fits-all lifestyle. There's just many ways that you can make it work for you. So, I hit so many personal bests in terms of my fitness. I accomplished um, movements that I have never done before. I my body weight tricep dips, I've done more than I've ever done pull-ups, I've gotten back to where I used to be when I was at my most fit. Um, I'm lifting heavier weights than I've ever lifted before. 
and for some reason just haven't felt that sense of direction that I usually have like I I've just felt a little bit lost and um, a part of that honestly has come from from being online looking at other people's successes and comparing them to my own and being like oh I should be this far already or oh I should have that already or why didn't I start this sooner and you know I've been beating myself up a bit this week and um, you know it happens and I just I'm going to be focused I think moving forward and connecting with why this is something that I love and that why I do this is for myself at the end of the day because that's what's the most motivating and inspiring for others if you're truly doing something for yourself that truly makes you happy and creates this positive energy around you that's what's going to inspire and motivate others and at the end of the day you know, I have this like regular job that I do and maybe I'll, that's my job I'll always do. I mean, I do still have dreams of pursuing a life of fitness and you know, I don't know what that looks like yet, but I'm working towards it. And I mean, at the end of the day, as long as I'm inspiring others to chase their dreams or to, to get, in, get involved in fitness or try something new that they've never tried, I mean, that's what really matters. At the end of the day, I think what I'm experiencing right now is a fear of failure. And it's a real thing. It's a fear that, you know, I'm at this juncture in my life of I really want to pursue something that means so much to me that I'm so passionate about and I don't want to fail at it. I know I haven't been able to say out loud and fully commit that I'm doing this fitness competition, but I know in my heart I really want to, but I'm afraid that if I say it and somehow I like mess up and I can't do it or I give up, then it's like I'm letting myself down and you know, anyone else who was believing in me, but I'm, I'm just, I want, I need to commit to myself. I need to believe in myself, you know, that's what I want to inspire others to do, so I need to do that for myself and not be afraid and know that I can do it. I need to be okay with the possibility that it's not going to be easy, I need to be okay with the possibility that it might not be what I, I hope it's going to be or I think it's going to be and I just need to do it and experience it and live through it and learn from it because that is what, you know, is going to make me a stronger better human being at the end of the day. That's what's going to keep me evolving. That's what's going to, you know, inspire my next move, whatever that's going to be. I just have to allow myself to just take the leap and do it. So thank you for listening. I feel like I've just talked myself through a huge mental uh, minor breakdown. So thank you for being there for that. Um, yeah, it just, I guess more than anything, I just wanted to share that sometimes you gotta go look back in and reflect and really ask yourself questions and, and be sure that you're doing things for the right reason. The one nagging feeling that I'm having is fear and I will never allow that to stop me from doing something that I want to do. So, I'm just gonna keep moving forward and, you know, in terms of my workouts, there's going to be more high points, there's going to be more low points, and I just got to enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you have any tips or advice or anything you want to share, please comment below. Um, and I appreciate all your support so far. Bye. <laughs>